What's up? Welcome to Tactics on the Bench, and I am your coach, Andy. So today we're checking out Captain Tsubasa. Super excited for this game, really. It seems like a fun game. Let's go ahead and check it out. It does look so dope. Like, just the graphics of it are just insane. And the best part is, like, growing up, I actually used to watch this anime. This is one of the first animes I ever watched as a kid. To walk down one of those tunnels, especially when you're hearing an audience like that, is just surreal. Japan versus Germany, okay. <laughs> I mean, they probably didn't have the rights to, like, the picture of the FIFA World Cup. But let me know, would you have rather that have been, like, a, a mock-up of the World Cup trophy? I want to look just like that guy. I'll grow my hair out down to here, put on the glasses. For sure, dude. Honestly, like I said, the animation is so cool because, like, yeah, like, we all know what PES and FIFA have to offer us. But, like, this is just, this is, like, a cartoon. Like, you're playing a cartoon, which is, it is what it is, but it's just sick. Like, yo, that's the stare. That's the stare from every anime. Like, yo, <laughs> let's go kick ass. I'm just going to say, like, win by scoring more points than your opponent, it's a soccer game. I would assume that's the case. Alright, so, like, each player has their own spirit gauge, I'm assuming. So that's going to be, like, their special gi to help get away from the other player in some way, shape, or form. So that's kind of cool. Oh, that is so sick, dude. Oh, oh no, dude. That is like, that is awesome. It really has potential to be an awesome little arcade game for sure. Yo. <laughs> okay, so it appears that like each player has their own individual type skill. So you definitely want to watch out and know exactly what players you're using so you can use them to their full potential in this case um you also probably want to be careful because as the match goes on if there's a lot of like stamina and if that really goes on to affect the end result then if you're, you're con if you're really considering on going far in this game and want to be like super competitive that's something you probably want to watch out for so honestly, like judging by the way the the keepers work, it might be a little like interesting because if you can't really score that easy on the other team, like if you really have to be strategic about it, then that really puts you at good odds as far as like even if you're playing with someone who's a little more superior, you might still get an edge on them because of that. So I will say they could have done better about like being a little different with the uniforms at least give you a little bit of clarity as to who your players are especially if you're not playing on an ultra 4k tv where you know the colors aren't not meshing that might be a little bit better just saying food for thought <laughs> okay so i'm noticing something like the goalies spirit bar is definitely like getting weaker so i'm gonna assume that the more i take shots on him the weaker he's actually gonna get <laughs> that's such sick animation like that's so awesome i can't believe that's actually the thing so ju just so you guys know it it does it does help to consistently put pressure on the goalie because he's gonna lose a lot of his spare gauge so he's gonna even if you did like a special move it's gonna go a lot smoother for you to score a goal you know what's funny like i'm i'm a coach right so i coach my local high school team i also coach like different little club teams and every year once the one team moves away from you you actually start to think like oh who else do i got what's my next player like <laughs> how can i plan for that next season so i like that he's actually thinking like that it's pretty dope all right guys well awesome honestly like that was that was pretty cool as far as the way the game's played what happens during the game and i think as you evolve into into this particular type of arcade soccer game 
you get used to the little moves and the little combos you can do. So it's actually very, very similar to a fighting game uh, like would, would be DBZ or Capcom versus Marvel, anything like that. Um, a lot of little things to definitely learn. So I would, I would for sure take the lessons. Go ahead and just go on the practice modes. Do everything you can to learn a lot of the dynamics. Otherwise, if you try to jump in online matches immediately, you're just going to get crushed. I can already see it. Um, especially because I think that as you continue to play on, you're going to start playing with more interesting characters who have different types of finishing moves, defensive moves. So I would definitely try to unlock all of those as well as you go into those online meetings. But um, overall, the game is super smooth. The dynamics are awesome and I think a lot to learn I'm sure the game's got its own quirks uh, but it's definitely a different type of game from what you get on FIFA and PES and if you're looking to take a break let's say you're playing FUT on the weekend or something like that and you're just kind of looking to continue your win streak or even if you're on a losing streak and you want to clear your mind I would definitely suggest this for the soccer fan it's cool because it brings back memories of what Super Campeones is and that's that's how I call it overall as far as like let's say if I were to rate it from a 1 to 10 perspective I definitely give it like a solid 7 to 8 and that's only because I haven't gone further into the game alright guys well initial thoughts listen honestly it's a solid game a lot of fun the cutscenes are amazing really what you get is Dragon Ball Z meets FIFA and so if that's what you're looking for you're gonna love it however if you're looking for more super strategic, obviously you're gonna go back to your FIFA, you're gonna go back to your PES, so be sure to know what you're getting into first. If you enjoyed the content, please like and subscribe. I also stream on Twitch, so be sure to follow me there, Tactics on the Bench. I'll see you for the next one.